By now, you've surely heard of Dayton's literal flyer, Obi Toppin. The redshirt sophomore routinely makes plays like this look effortless. You'd think a kid with this kind of freakish athleticism would have had countless colleges recruiting him when he was at Ossining High School in New York, but you'd be wrong. My senior year, like not one D1 school looked at me. Not a lot of college D1 coaches go to the Hudson Valley. He won all section, all conference, all league. He was the second leading scorer of section one, but nobody was interested. I wanted to move on to college, so my main goal going to prep school was just to develop, just so I have a chance to go to college for basketball, whether it was D1, D2, D3, like anything. Toppin decided to go to Mount Zion Prep, a program with a reputation of helping players get noticed. Coach Roderick Harrison couldn't believe Obi wasn't getting any looks. I actually went to see him one time and it was like, wow, someone got this one wrong. We just needed to polish him up, to get him better, to get him a little bigger. I always told him, you know, you come in, you work hard. I have a relationship with college coaches all over the country. I went there with the mindset that if I don't come out here better, like, I don't know if I'm gonna go to school. So I went there, like basically playing my way into a college, so. Obi's hard work was showing on the court, but something else started happening that would drastically change the way he played the game. He started growing and growing and growing. I still have pants in the closet with tags on it. He grew so fast that he couldn't even wear them. I couldn't believe how big he got. I knew I was gonna grow, but I didn't think I was gonna be like this long, this tall, so I was just growing like rapidly. As Obi grew taller, his game evolved, and schools finally took notice. Just a year after being unrecruited, he had multiple D1 scholarship offers before choosing Dayton. When he got here, he grew, I think, another inch and a half, and his body matured. So by the time the world got a chance to see him, you know, two years removed from high school, I felt like we could have something really special here. Obi had grown six inches since entering prep school. The former guard now stood at six foot nine, and his late growth spurt gave him the ability to do things he never could before. I love to jump now just because I wasn't able to dunk my whole high school career. So every chance I get to dunk, I dunk. To see what he's doing now on the court, I still get surprised by some of the stuff he does. It's like, dude, you, you shouldn't be able to do that, and you're just doing it like it's nothing. I don't really understand how he didn't really have many offers coming out of, out of high school, especially like seeing what he can do in practice and knowing what he can do on the court. He can do everything. There probably isn't a single school that wouldn't want Obi on their team now, but the Dayton Flyer remains humble despite all the recent attention. Every single day I'm gonna grind out and I'm never gonna change just because I know where I was three, four years ago. I use that as motivation of me not getting the attention that I was when I was in high school just to help me play better every single day.